Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another video. Um, today I just want to talk about um, the importance of 401k. So, sorry guys, it's been a long day. Um, so, I just want to talk about 401k because a lot of people don't even think about it. Um, and by... You know, it's really sad because everyone keeps talking about how Social Security might not be there when we're older, or Social Security isn't enough. Well, um, 401k helps out a lot. So, any money, any extra money is good money. <clears throat> Especially for when you are done working. Um, so, I just want to break down some of the important things that you should um, consider when you think about things like 401k and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> probably a big rule is probably not having all of your um, eggs in the same basket. It's good if you... I mean, it's great to have a 401k open, but you should really have a savings account or something to stash away a little bit of money here and there or whatever you can possibly do. Um, some great things about 401k. So, I work for Walmart, and Walmart, at the moment, as of 2019, they match up to 6% of your income, of what you put in. <coughs> And, um, so they match up to 6%. So you're putting in 6%, they're putting in 6%, so that's 12% of your income going into a 401k account. Right? Sounds really great. On top of that, your account that all this money is going into builds interest. Free money, right? So, the only money that you're putting into it is the 6%. You're getting an additional 6% for free. This is just with my company. It might be different with other people's. Um, and it builds interest. And another great thing on top of all of this is that the um, tax time you get a tax credit for having a 401k account open. <clears throat> At least I have for the last few years. So, it's... Again, it's it's money coming back to you. So, 401k is highly important. Especially, you know, considering times are tough now. Um, I can't imagine you know, when it's time to retire and having to rely on um, Social Security. So, for example, <clears throat> I've been putting 6% um, in. Um, so, Walmart's put in 6% in. So, I've been doing that for the last a little bit over two years. And I already have over 7000 in my Merrill Lynch uh, saving, you know, my uh, 401k account. And that's just a little over two years. $7,000 already invested in the future me. In, in um, you know, so... I get tax. I I get interest on top of that, tax uh tax credit um when it's time to file taxes and stuff, and um it's extremely important. So they have my projected date as <laughs> twenty sixty. So I'm gonna be like seventy years old, right? <clears throat> if I've already put in. 7,000, or if I already have 7,000 in this account, can you imagine how much it's going to be? I mean, I know that 
it fluctuates a little bit because of the markets and stuff like that, but I mean, that's crazy to already have that in my account. Um for my retirement and everything. Um <clears throat> So, I mean, and a few things because, yes, working for Walmart isn't the best and everything, but they really, really, really do have great benefits. So, so I'm full-time. <clears throat> so, we're not going to talk about um, the 401k for just one second. So... I have, I, I max on everything for my life insurance policy, accidental and death, family leave, short term and long term disability, and all of that is only $13 out of my check. Every pay period. Only $13 for all of that. So. It's really, really great to make sure that you have benefits. Um, but back onto the 401k, guys. I urge everyone to start a 401k. It is extremely important. It's not too late. Um, so, um, I believe a coworker of mine actually um, told me this, that it was done by... Um, like a study that if you put in 15% of your income into a 401k account or into a savings account, you're going to look, you're going to live, be able to live comfortably by the time you retire. <clears throat> so... I'm at 12 right now because it's six me, six the company. So I'm eventually when <clears throat> I'm in a position to do so, I'm going to just put 15% in for me and then Walmart will continue putting in their 6% and then, you know, my uh, 401k account is going to hopefully skyrocket. So... <clears throat> It is never too late, guys. Never too late. Um, and it's always important because it is... So, before I worked in the electronics, which is where I'm at now, I worked over in automotive. And this one of the saddest things that you can see, that you, you experience in life that I've seen and witnessed myself is um, an older couple came in and um, they had to have their tires replaced. And because they didn't save up in any 401k account or anything like that, and they live, they're just getting their social security they were able only able to afford a tire at a time because you know they have their other bills you know just like everyone else does and they were only able to afford one or two tires at a time and they couldn't have all four tires replaced which is what they needed um and that's really sad because you shouldn't have, when you are done working, you shouldn't have to struggle. You shouldn't have to struggle. You worked all your life and, and paid your dues. You shouldn't have to struggle at all. And it was really heartbreaking to see <clears throat> and um, know that there are people out there that um, really have it tough because... A lot of people don't put, a lot of people never start a 401k and then they retire and the only thing that they get is 
their social security, which is really sad because social security realistically is not a lot. So, save, 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 save. Even if it's just $10 here, $10 there, any money is good money that is for your future you to take care of you. Um, so, there's not a better investment than investing in yourself. So, <clears throat> especially after you work all your life, there's no reason to not be able to afford the things that, especially the things that you need, but you should be able to have the things that you want also because you worked for it. Um, and not only that, but nobody needs to struggle, so... <clears throat> If you can't, just all banks do a retire. As far as I know, all banks do a retirement account. All banks have a savings account. You know, stash away any money, even even if you stash away ten dollars every week in a safe some and leave it somewhere, and when you retire, you know, even something like that. Uh, it's very important, and I just wanted to talk about it because a lot of people don't think about it. The only regret that I have is I didn't start sooner. Um, but there's a kid that I worked with um, who went up into management, and he's way younger than I am, but he went up into management at Walmart, and, um, so he was making more money and everything, and I asked him if he, you know, got his benefits and started his 401k and all that, and he was like, no, I don't, haven't really thought about it, and then I went over the benefits of, even if he didn't get health insurance, or the short-term or long-term disability, or any of that extra stuff, I just went over the benefits of having a 401k, you know, I told him how quickly my money, um, really, uh, took off in my account, um, because I put it into, I put it in perspective for him, you know, I put in 6%, Walmart puts in 6%, then it builds interest, and you get a tax uh, benefit, um, tax credit, sorry, not benefit, credit. So it's win, win, win. There's no losing. It's all winning. And it's all for you, your future you. And after I explained it to him, and after I showed him my own... Uh, you know, account after only, like, two years, I mean, this is, like, a year and a half, in, and I had, like, $5,000 or something like that in there, and he was shocked. He immediately went into personnel and, um, opened up a 401k account, and everything it was really crazy. <clears throat> so, um... And he, he thanked me later for it, and now he's in the army, so now he's going to get a whole bunch of benefits and, you know, all that stuff. But if, and, and considering he was so young at the time, because he was something like 18 or 19, starting then and building up from there, he is going to have a lovely, a lovely, he's going to live very comfortably when he is retired. If he continues um, building his 401k account. So guys, even if you don't want to open up a 401k account, at least put something in savings or stash away money. Any extra money. Because <clears throat> it's important. It's important for you, for you. For your future you. To take care of yourself. And your needs and your wants. Um, 
And I cannot stress it enough because so many people don't think about it and so many people don't get it through their head that it's important. Um, and who wants to live on one check? Who wants to live on Social Security only? Um, I mean, unless you have a good pension coming from somewhere, but, I mean, few people do, so... Uh, it's important, guys. So, just ask your, you know, talk to um, someone at your local bank or, you know, or your job. Because um, most good-paying jobs or good jobs, most companies will offer um, at least a 401k, a 401k account or something like that. So, um get it started. It's never too late. Um, and that's pretty much all that I have to say about it. I just want to, you know, stress it, stress it, stress it, and push it, push it, push it, because nothing is more important than taking care of you at the end of the day. So, um, if you like my video, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, and like the video, and until next time, guys, have a great night.